Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Environmental Station Alpha. In the last episode, we got ourselves the boost jump and the vertical booster. Oops. Yay. As I headed back here, because there was actually something I could have gotten when we got the jump booster that I failed to. Oops, I messed that up. What you want to do is get in this little thing, double jump, and then immediately boost upwards to get into the secret wall. Now, the secrets I'm getting, like this one and the key, they're actually post-game stuff you're not supposed to do until you've at least beaten the game once. But I'd like to get it done now. Stupid red blicks. There's what is the secret you say. It is. Pillar 1 has been unlocked. There are four of these. And when we get all four done, we can actually... Do some op start up on some optional stuff that'll let us lead us to probably the true final boss of the game or true final optional boss. I don't know. Anyways, as nice as our triple jump basically is. Oh, I forgot to mention you can boost downwards too. Which is more useful than you would think. Also on our way there, there's one more little thing we can get, and it's just in this room too. Well the next room. Also, you remember that item I pointed out in the last episode that was located beyond this wall? Well, I you're like, well, why wait to get it? Well, if I got it now, the game, it's, it's complicated. It would mess things up. That's all I'm saying. It's, it would mess things up in an interesting way. Especially if I showed it off now. Anyways, this is a teleporter room. This must be a teleport. You can move instantly between any teleports you visited in the past. However, you must have an access card to use them. Press up and f up to open a map from which to choose your destination. So we can't use that, but once you've entered a room with a teleporter, you don't even have to touch it, you just have to have the room it's in, and you can permanently have that destination. Anyways, let's get moving. Since no one complained about volume issues, I'm going to assume I made the volume perfect from right at the start. Anyways, there's actually two items in this room. One we could get if it was an easier difficulty, or we had, well, if we had more health, which easy would have provided. But we can't get this one. This one's very important. It may not seem important, it just may seem like a collectible, which it technically is. Maybe it holds some information about what happened to the station? Well, it's more than just a collectible. It'll actually unlock an optional item that I would really like to get. Now, that other item is down there, so if anyone's playing this and you're doing easy mode, just drop down there, hold right, shoot down, then hold right, and you'll get a map. We can't get that map because we just don't have the health for it. Anyway, you'll see these things. They look quite inconspicuous, don't they? Oh, well, I guess we'll just continue onwards into this very pink room. But before we head right, which is our destination, I want to head up and left. So if I'm right, there's something else we can do. Which is right over here to the left. Yeah, you gotta move quickly, that water hurts. Which is another pillar, actually. I think this one's number three. I'm trying to remember which one this was. I think this one's three. Nope, it's pillar two. Oh well. Anyways, to leave, just go right up here and drop down. Now, I got the same feeling, GW fan, about the cave story thing. Yeah, this game does give it off. I hope no one gets detracted because of that. That'll piss me off. Because this game is a lot bigger and I think it's probably one of the best Metroidvanias I've played in a while. But that, well, pretty much up there, maybe beats Axiom Verge. I don't know. Anyways, we got a teleporter here. Funny enough, when I first saw this in this area, I thought it was melted. Because if you can tell by this area, it looks like it's going to be a hot place. It has been a week since the incident, and several sectors have become completely inaccessible. The Ocean Dome sector is now completely flooded, and now the Volcanic sector is a molten hellhole. However, I got messages from crewmates trapped in the Volcanic sector. They say that they are stuck but that there is a safe area on the other side of the sector. 
Now we just need to figure out how to get, how to rescue them from there. That's where we come in. Fuck. I should have went and saved, but I think we'll be fine. Because we got a Metroid style hell run. You'll take slow heat damage from the heat in this area. Don't worry, we won't be going into the really heated areas until later in life. Thankfully, we got the booster so we can get this. That's why I said we'd be fine. Now, we would be getting this pretty much when we finish this place out. Health tank increased by four. Yeah, the two items I'll be getting on the way to the upgrade here is actually the upgrade we could have used to get that item up there and the item we'll be getting shortly. Which, spoilers, by the way, are both health tanks. So, yeah, this just makes it a little quicker and easier to get it. There's, let's plop into the save point. So we can restore our health, obviously. Fight off these per pinkish beetles. These ones take two hits, unlike their blue counterparts, but they're just as easy. Anyways, we got a teleporter in here, and a secret. Alright, watch out, those are spikes. These little things that look like tentacles. Yeah, I didn't know what they were at first until later. Until a much later date when I found out these things like those are spikes. Anyways, health tanks. This one gives two. Our max health will be 30, by the way. Just to let that out there if you're curious. If you're curious, what's our max health going to be? 30. This game gives me all sorts of vibes, especially the post-game content. God, the post-game content. There's one point I'm, thing I'm not looking forward to. And I guess I'll show it off here because we're coming up on... We're, at, we're coming up on some post-game content that I remember of. And trust me, guys, I'm saving you a lot of trouble by, like, just telling you what to do instead of showing you all the archaeology... The archaeology detective work that goes into figuring this stuff out. It's really impressive, honestly, for a game like this. That the creator would have you do all this detective work. It's like an ARG type puzzle. Because the game says you are the robot. I'm the character right here. I'm the guy that just stepped into the save point. It's me, Steel Crescent, as the robot. And it says you. You're their most durable explorer. Anyways, we got a boss. This one isn't too hard. First half, just dodge these projectiles, then go nuts on them. I kid you not, don't worry about getting damaged, he doesn't hurt that much. If you just get on the first form like this, you'll be fine. Though don't let that hit you, that's not good news. I hit him with my boost, how funny. Come on, stop being a pain. I have no real strategy for this guy except just go nuts. Once you've done enough damage... He will retreat and you can no longer physically hit him. Instead, you'll have to do this. Destroy these little cores. Which is really easy if you just follow my strategy right here. He'll shoot a big ball of plasma. Then he'll let out a death laser. And if you stand next to the wall when he shoots his missiles, they'll get destroyed. Mind you, you can destroy them with your gun. It's just easier to do it this way. Just basically rinse, rinse wash, and repeat. And you'll be fine. By the way, the song that's playing is actually called Swift Mecha. These are mechas. That's what the bosses are. Mechas. There was one boss in particular that gave me some hell when I first played this. I'm not kidding. But you guys won't be seeing him for a little bit. Well, for a bit. Anyways, enough about bosses. We got an upgrade to collect and it is... The Hookshot. Press A to swim to hard to reach areas. Far more useful than it was in Super Metroid's. Well, far more useful than Super Metroid's uh, grappling beam. I can tell you that now. So just like it, it does have its limitations, and you'll see that soon enough. It's a minor one you'll rarely see, but it exists. And it is it swing over this way because... If you do it just right, you'll notice a platform here that looks a little out of place. Well, let me turn something off really quick. Let's turn off our hookshot and booster. 
If you go to a spot like this, you will never know what they are without a guide. Which I'll be using to show it off. I'm just going to show this one off along with another one. If you go to the spot and type in the password on your keyboard, ESA. Hey, look at that. And I just opened up. Is it the Illuminati? God, no. If someone makes that joke, I'm going to be pissed. So, yes. That's a little eyeball. There's about 13 of those. There's about 12, 13 of those in total. And it will unlock a special thingy. Anyways, before I use that green thing, let the computer explain it. This machine can restore your energy if you happen to get hurt. Press up in front of it to use it. So if you're hurt, ta-da! It has an infinite amount of uses, so you can basically use it to keep yourself healthy. Just be warned, enemies do respawn in the game. Alright, you'll notice some yellow bricks there. I might as well spoil what's back there. It's absolutely optional and has no bearing on anything at all, unlike the optional stuff I'll be doing. It's just a boss rush behind that door. Alrighty, we got a giant computer here. This is it. As I write this, there's really no help for our group. Although I highly doubt any human is safe on this station. The robots seem to all have gone on murderous rampages. And I can't seem to shut them off. I've heard that some scientists are trying to find out what's going on over in the underwater sector. Although, even though if they do, I doubt they'll be able to stop the slaughter. Still, maybe the data they uncover will be helpful for someone. Map updated with the location of the researchers. So if we hit shift, look at that. Our next destination has been marked. Well, actually, that's not completely our next destination. We gotta go somewhere else first. So let's get to it. Let's blast away these false walls. And yes, we did it. Don't fall into that lava, it hurts. Alrighty, let's move along. Now in this area, there's actually an incredibly powerful upgrade I wish I could get now, but... We still need a couple more upgrades before we can do that. Before I'd even recommend doing that. You have no choice, sadly. Which is kind of poop. I'd love to get it now. I really would. Anyways, let's just move along. Be curious to where it's located. It's actually down there, but we can't go past blue bricks right now. By the way, to use those optional diskettes, right up there, that's where you'll use them. But we don't have them yet, so we can't do it. Alrighty, don't worry about the heat run. You get fully restored. Come on. Hey, it's those pink bricks again. These pink blocks have a strong current running through them. This means that your hookshot cannot latch onto them. And no, we will not get an upgrade to remedy that. That's going to be an obstacle in our life. So don't go thinking everything will be dandy soon enough. Alright, let's wait on this platform. Because if you touch these ghosts, they die instantly. Ouch. I was hoping the platform blocked all that stuff, but it didn't. Alrighty, let's zap you. And as soon as this fire jet fires off, there we go. Now up there, remember where I said to use the diskettes? This is a back entrance, and I've actually sequence broken and gotten the item, but it requires you to have maximum health and an upgrade that we'll be getting much later, which is turd sauce. It really is. Anyways, it's about time to call it an episode. So what else awaits us? What are those? Are there scientists being held up at that destination there? Are they safe? Are they dead? What awaits us in the station? Well, we'll find out next time on Let's Play Environmental Station Alpha.